Dexter, a fawn-colored French bulldog, lives with his human in an apartment in New York City. He eats food cooked especially for him, has four beds and countless tennis balls. Size small, of course. According to his human, Dexter enjoys eating, sleeping and sniffing. But Dexter has another life his human knows nothing about. He is the famous Detective Dexter. Every morning after his human leaves for work, Dexter puts on his detective hat, heads out onto the terrace, leaps onto the ledge and hops onto the fire escape where he keeps an office. His trusty assistant, a Pomeranian named Peanut, is always early and there is always a line of city dogs who need help. Today, there was no line. Dexter and his allies have been hard at work on their plan to take down the imposter. Phase one was fortifying Eugene's place and Dog Alley, both done. Phase two was bringing Babs on board and setting up her portograph signing so that she might, as discreetly as possible, tell as many dogs as she could to attend the secret concert. Now it's time for phase three. Rescue Flo the Bunny's sister. Dexter and Peanut sneak into the imposter's building by way of the small hole next to the entrance. They had seen her and Flo use it many times, so they knew they would fit. In they went. To the stairs. Oh, the elevator, please. Dexter jumps up and hits the call button. Fourth floor? Third. How do we get in? We can't use a key. We don't even have a key. They sneak in and out at all hours. I have seen it. There must be a way in and out without anyone seeing. They get off of the elevator and sniff all around the floor. There are only three doors. Two lead to apartments and the third to the stairwell. I smell her. Ew. Flo, too. And another. It must be her sister. At that moment, they hear a scratching. It's coming from the stairwell. And, <gasps> mon dieu, it's the bunny. She's in there. The scent. I never cared for the smell of hay. Me neither. Ready? Ready. Dexter leaps into the air and hits the door handle. At the very same time, Peanut leans into the door. And it's open. They rush through before it slams. And there, in the back corner, is an animal carrier. Hello? Who are you? We were sent by your sister. Flo. We have come to set you free. That's what the dog said every time she wanted information to hold over my sister. Well, we are not that dog, the imposter. And I ain't no snitch. Glad to hear it. Dexter and Peanut approach slowly so they can get a better look. And there she is, a carrot in her mouth. She's trying to look tough from the back of the cage. Hello. Do not be frightened. Wow, you and Flo look exactly alike. It's called DNA. Now that I think of it, I do not recall Flo ever telling your name. Bopsy. Your parents named you Flopsy and Bopsy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Whoa, that's diabolical. Let's not publicize it. And it's Bo for shirt. Flo and Bo. I think that's cute. Listen, you may think my sister is okay, but I can tell you, you ever call me cute again, it ain't gonna be pretty. Oh, you're an angry bunny. <laughs> not angry, not angry, but not cute. I'm tough. We understand, but we do not have much time. Bo, Flo said you were trapped here by the imposter, and we are here to rescue you. Yeah? Well, where am I gonna go? You huh? can stay with me. Are you sure? Yeah. My human gets one look at you, and you're in for life. She loves rescuing animals. She's a really wonderful person. She even tried to rescue a cockroach from the shower drain once. He ran. Far. She's so funny. <laughs> yes, she is quite nice. Especially when she comes to movie night. 
she makes those little banana snacks. <laughs> I love them. Uh, now I'm hungry. Let us get this door open and we can all go and have a little something to eat. Great, because I'm sick of this carrot. Even though carrots are my favorite food, I could use a fresh one. Crunchy. Dexter mm. and Peanut open the door to the crate and out hops Bo. Lovely to meet you. And now, let's get out of here. So bossy. How ki- Careful. How great? Yeah. Bo, we have much to tell you. Perhaps over a nice day old bagel. No, no, I'll take some Roman lettuce and uh, a sprig of parsley. We can make that happen. I'll stick with my bagel. And I'll take any way I can to bring that imposter down. That we are working on. Dexter, Peanut and Bo head back downtown. They stop at a bagel shop and sure enough, the day olds are out back, discarded. <sighs> They find Bo some snacks as well, and then they settle in at Dexter's office, where Dexter and Peanut tell Bo from start, the imposter posing as Babs and asking Dexter for help, to finish the plan to bring the imposter down. And you need me to be Flo? Oui. You have arrived at the right place, because this I can do. And once they're back, it's all paws on deck. This bunny is as agile as a ninja, sly as a cat, quick as a cheetah, tough as an elephant. We get the picture. <laughs> it's good to have you on the team, Oh. All I know is this lettuce hit the spot. Gotta stock up on my energy. This is getting weird. Peanuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah.